Hello and welcome to Doc Play's Chemistry Lessons. Today we're going to be looking at organic chemistry and importantly we're going to be looking at alcohols and one in particular ethanol. So by the end of the lesson you should be able to do the following thing. You should be able to recall what ethanol is. Recall how ethanol can be made from alkenes. Recall how ethanol can be made from fermentation. Compare and contrast the two ways of making ethanol and recall how ethene can be made from ethanol. So let's go and see first of all what ethanol is. So what is ethanol? Well, you might be able to work it out by its old name. It used to be called ethyl alcohol. It's a liquid at room temperature, and you probably come across it in things like uh, your parents' drinks and things like that, and alcoholic drinks. It's a colourless liquid, and ethyl, well, that tells us there's two carbons. There's an alcohol group. This is OH, and then if we actually look at the standard name these days, ethan, well that suggests it's all single bonds. The O tells us it's an alcohol group, and that means everything else must be a hydrogen. So ethanol looks like this. The picture on the left is ethyl alcohol, 100% pure. That's not something you would ever drink. Uh, the alcohol you get in beverages is normally, in beers, the sort of about 5%, and uh, maybe in spirits might go up to 40%. This is 100% alcohol and quite different. So we're now going to look at two different ways of making ethanol. The first way we're going to look at is going to be making ethanol from alkenes, and the second way is going to be making ethanol from fermentation. Ethanol from alkenes then, we have ethene here on the left, C2H4, plus water. And we're using a phosphoric acid catalyst to make ethanol as the only product. So we're going to write that as a molecular formula. We'd have C2H5OH. And the conditions we use for that, so this is done on an industrial scale, is 300 degrees Celsius, so quite a high temperature, and 60 to 70 atmospheres. Now atmospheres, remember, is a unit of pressure and room pressure, normal room pressure, is about one atmosphere. So 60 to 70 atmosphere is quite a high pressure. And as we said before, we use phosphoric acid, which is H3PO4, as a catalyst. There are a few problems with this. Um, we'll look at those in a minute. But ethene comes from crude oil. Crude oil is non-renewable. And conditions that we use, quite high temperature and quite high pressure, are relatively expensive. And the good side of it is that we end up with something which is 100% pure. So the other way of doing this is to do ethanol from fermentation. Now you may have come across fermentation, perhaps you might have seen it at home, you might have heard about it, of how they make beer, or you may have come across it in your biology classes. So ethanol takes sugar, which is C6, H12O6 and using a catalyst of yeast and yeast is a biological catalyst and therefore called an enzyme and the product of that we get leaving it for a little while we get C2H5OH which is the ethanol we get two of those plus to carbon dioxide, so it bubbles. This process is done at around about room temperature, slightly above 30 to 40 degrees Celsius, and one atmosphere pressure. Those are conditions. The yeast is acting as a catalyst, but our product is less pure, so we tend to get no more than 5% purity, whereas our ethanol in, from alkenes is normally about up to 
purity. So what that means is we, we have a comparison, we have a trade-off. Sugar is renewable. Ethene is non-renewable. The products for ethanol are less pure, the products of ethene are 100% pure and we have different conditions. So we're going to look at a quick comparison there now before we go and look at how we make the reverse of the process. So we're going to have a quick look, a comparison of some of the advantages and disadvantages. So fermentation and ethanol from ethene is called hydration because we're adding water to the ethene. So the hydration of ethene is very fast, it happens almost immediately. Fermentation takes a couple of weeks. Uses renewable raw materials. Well, ethene is non-renewable. Fermentation is a renewable resource. Fermentation takes place at lower temperatures, so room temperature and room pressure, one atmosphere and 30 degrees Celsius, and gives purer ethanol. Well, that one is for the hydration of ethene. So we get pure ethanol from hydration of ethene is a continuous process. Now, continuous process means that you can always keep adding more reactants in and the process keeps going. The opposite of a continuous process is a batch process, and that is one where you have to stop the whole process, refill it all, and then restart. So fermentation is a batch process because you have to empty all your barrels, refill them up and restart the process again. The disadvantage is because it slows the process down. So hydration of ethene is a continuous process. And the labour cost here, well, it's hard to really gauge that because you've got a large plant process, might require a few people, and the fermentation uh, process is also going to be have a relatively large labour cost. So we're not going to worry about labour costs here at the moment. Finally then, we saw how we could make ethanol from ethene. The advantage here is that actually we can do the reverse process. So ethene is, if it comes from crude oil, is a non-renewable source, but we can actually get ethene from ethanol. And ethanol is a renewable source. Therefore, it's an opportunity to make things like plastics from ethanol, which is a renewable resource from things like sugar. So how do we do it? Well, we take our ethanol, and we apply heat over an aluminium oxide catalyst. And our product is ethene plus water. So very similar to almost our cracking. Because we lose water, there's two ways of describing it. It's either elimination or because we're losing water particularly, we can call it dehydration reaction. And that brings us to the end of our lesson on ethanol. Just to recap then, you should now be able to do the following things. You should be able to recall what ethanol is, recall how ethanol can be made from alkenes, recall how ethanol can be made from fermentation, compare and contrast two ways of making ethanol, and recall how ethene can be made from ethanol.